When the 2024 Oscar nominations were announced in January, people immediately identified an issue with the selections. Despite the incredible box office success of Barbie, neither Margot Robbie nor Greta Gerwig, the director, had received a nomination. And to add insult to injury, Ryan Gosling did as Best Supporting Actor. This snub has rekindled a debate about how women are recognized, compensated, portrayed, and represented in the film and television industry. So we figured why not talk about it. Welcome to My Generation. Joining me today is Paige, Sherry, and Ruth to discuss this a little further. Ladies, welcome. Thanks, Thank you so much. You. It's cool to have an all-woman panel to talk about <laughs> women equality in film. I love it. So let me ask you guys, did you, did you see the Barbie movie? I did. You yeah. did? Have you guys seen the Barbie movie? Oh, yes. yes. Sherry, you seen it? <laughs> I've seen it. I loved it. Okay, why? Why did you like it? I think it had so many themes involved in it. And I don't think it, I think it just didn't appeal to women. If you unwrapped it, it was, it was for men too. Really? Right? I think that it triggered so much conversation. Any movie that can trigger so much conversation tells us something that's happening culturally. So do you guys feel that Barbie was in some way snubbed by the Oscars? I personally don't. Um, it was nominated for many awards. Uh, and I think that the conversation about who was not nominated has kind of overshadowed who was nominated. Right. America Ferreira, who yeah. was amazing in the movie. And it's almost like her nomination didn't get the recognition that it deserved because it the, got snubbed by them saying, yes. oh, well, Margot didn't get it or Greta. Yeah, yeah. That's actually interesting. I mean, what criteria do you guys think we should be using to judge based on Oscars? Like, was this Margot's best performing movie or? Paige, what do you think? I haven't seen too many of her films, if I'm being honest. And But I think she did such an amazing job. And when I first saw the film, I didn't really know what to expect. And then, like, I laughed. I cried. I was pondering. It made me think. It made me just love to be a woman and also, like, love the men in my life, too. It just It was just a whirlwind of emotions. And I think that she did a really great job, as did Greta. So... I don't know what the criteria should be, honestly, when it, it comes to... There's a fine balance between yeah. a few different things. Let me ask you, ladies, this. So, Margo was paid, there's a report that she was paid roughly $12.5 million for the movie, mm -hmm. which is an amazing amount of money. <laughs> but Ryan Gosling was also paid the same amount in the same report. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, we have uh, a ways to go, I do believe. Do you right? think Margo yeah. should have been paid more? It's a matter, it's not so much a matter of who and and the metrics are difficult to measure is that overall in in the industry women are still not as paid as high as men mm -hmm. are I mean that's that's the trend I think that's changing so I mean there are lots of things you look into to see the value when I spoke to actually one of the um uh, people on the street that I spoke with, they had said, you know, it should be based on screen time. And if Margo and Ryan had the same screen time, then great. But I also think it should obviously be based on if the actor brings something to the movie that obviously Ryan Gosling's a huge I, actor. I was going to say yeah. that. I think a lot of people, and, and I totally agree, there's definitely uh, a, an issue with pay equity there. But Ryan Gosling really intrigued a lot of people to yeah. go see that movie. Like, yeah. what is Ryan Gosling going to be like as Ken? Because it seemed like such a... It seemed like it was a perfect fit. Yeah, and it's, yeah it just and seemed he so... Great. He was great. He was so great, I yeah. do think in this particular circumstance, it doesn't bother me that they were paid the same, but that doesn't erase the fact that that issue is still okay. there in Hollywood. Yeah. So to back your point here, I have an interesting research. A research paper from 2017 found that male Hollywood stars earn 1.1 roughly million more per film than their female co-stars. Is this discrimination, would you say? Yeah, and I think it kind of lends itself to all jobs everywhere across mm -hmm. the board, not just in acting, right? So I have a hard time when actors complain about how much money they make because I have my own opinions about <laughs> how much money they make yeah. in show business. Not to say that their jobs aren't worth that much money. But men making more, it, yeah. could there be other factors though that we have to take into account? Does it sell more? I don't I don't have the I don't yeah, have the facts so I don't know. Data. But I think it's predominantly it's a male saturated industry. And I think in order for us to kind of create more of an equal playing field for women and, and other people, um, I think that there's still a lot of work to go. And I think the men who We're are in... Jump in there. Yeah. We'll keep going. When we come back, we'll take a look at the male gaze and how women are portrayed in the films we watch. Let's continue.